Shalom, brothers and sisters. Peace and blessings. I was listening to a song by Tasha Cobb called This Is a Move. And as I listened to her song, the Spirit of the Lord started talking to me. It started ministering to me. Okay? One of the things that came to me was the Goliaths in our lives. The Goliaths in our lives. There are things that we contend with that come up against us. Be it family situations, job situations, relationship situations, situations with our parents, our children, our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, people that we call friends that really aren't. And some of these situations are going on and they're so intense that they take on the spirit of a Goliath. They take on the spirit of a Goliath in our lives. Something so big because it's so constant. We got sons and daughters that we love dearly, but for whatever reason, they're going through a change. They're going through a moment in their lives where they will not do right. You know you did your best. You know you tried to raise them right. Some of us made mistakes. We got to forgive ourselves for the mistakes we made. But the thing gets so big, it gets so out of hand. It becomes a Goliath in our lives. Sometimes we got outside forces trying to ruin our homes. You can have a good relationship. And you got people in your family want to see your marriage end because their relationships aren't right. Goliaths in our lives. And these are people you love who you thought loved you. They don't want to see you do good. You're going to work every day. Doing the best you know to do. And you got co-workers that, my God, they're like something hell birthed up. Just, just. And you're thinking, I need my job. I got to pay my bills. I've been here too long. Goliaths in our lives. The life in our lives. Some of us got Cain and Abel relationships with our brothers and sisters. Cain and Abel, let's not get it twisted. You can talk all the love you want. But let me tell you something. Cain was real. And what he did to his brother Abel was real. And some of us got siblings that, I mean, hateration should have been the definition of their name. The lives in our lives. The negative influences, the negative impact they can have. And we try to do the best we know to do. And it ain't always working no matter what you do. That's when we got to recognize this battle is in our It's not our brothers and sisters. You got to recognize when David went up against Goliath, he went up at him in the name of the Most High God. You got to recognize that this battle that the life that you're rumbling against, it could be bills that are out of control. And you're doing the best you could do. And you got reason to spend your money on more than just a bill, but all them bills piling up that kind of life in your life. Some of that stuff, you got to give it to the most high. You got to give it to God. Those good lives in our lives. You know, I realize when you're doing the best you can do, some people get an eyeball on you and they want to see you fall. Not because you did something evil. Not because you said something wrong. Let me tell you, jealousy is rotten. Rotten to the core. And a lot of people don't want to talk about it. They just want to do sweet, sweet everything. But the reality is, it is Goliath wasn't trying to befriend Israel. Goliath wanted to destroy Israel. Goliath wanted Israel to serve him. Okay, and his pagan God, and his pagan nation, the Goliaths in our lives. They slayed Goliath. He went at his head. He went at his head. And when he went at the head of that situation, the first thing that he did was recognize who was in front of him. See, some of us, we try to take the lead in situations that are too big for us. They're too big for us. But you got to put God in front. And I'm not saying you're not, but some of us, we get caught up in that whirlwind. And we lose our way. We lose our direction. 
because it's a life. It's been going on so long. It's been crazy and so wrong. You got people that are your enemies trying to pretend that they're your friend. You got people that want to compete with you while trying to say they're just trying to do right too. Mm -mm. A good life in your life. You got to remember in the midst of David slaying the life, the king was looking at him. No, not the king of heaven. He was on David's side, but the other king. When God starts elevating you, people that you think will celebrate and recognize the goodness that you're trying to do actually get jealous. They want to copycat you at first, but then in reality, they want to usurp you. Recognize the Goliath in our lives. And brothers and sisters, there's a God who is God, God of God. There is no Goliath bigger than God. There is no Goliath. I don't care how long it's been going on. I don't care how many people are involved. All it's doing is taking you to a higher level. That's what it's doing. But sometimes we got to face things that scare people. When David went at Goliath, the entire army of Israel was running from Goliath. But David knew God. David knew the most high. He knew what he could not do, God could do. He knew the battle was already won before he ever went out there after Goliath. He knew it. He didn't hope it. He didn't think it. He didn't feel it. He didn't dream it. He knew it. And some of us brothers and sisters, we got to get back to that point. That thing that's too big for you. That thing that's been going on far too long. Remember that? Goliath was coming out there after the army of Israel for a while. It was going on for a while. We got the live situations in our lives been going on so long, it seemed like this thing is undefeatable. But before you go at that battle, you got to remember who's in charge, brothers and sisters, so you can be encouraged in the middle of this thing. David knew what God could do. He didn't have to concern himself with what he could do. He knew what God could do. And that's the thing we got to focus on in the middle of these lives in our lives. When this Goliath situation comes up against you, when you battling that giant, that giant bill, that giant situation with your children, that giant situation with your husband, with your wife, with your friend, you got to remember who's in front, who's in charge. When you battling that situation that just seems like I'm losing and I'm trying to do the right thing, I'm doing everything I know to do and I just keep losing. No, oh, my last you know, sometimes I found out we got a lesson to learn. We got a lesson to learn, and we don't always see it that way. We don't always see it that way. Sometimes we think that we're not doing enough. We're not doing the right thing. We must have did something wrong. I found out something. The battle is not true. It's not true. Somebody needs to hear it. That's a life in your life. God already defeated them. God already got this situation under control, but you have to have enough faith to believe it, to know it. And every move you make is based on the truth that you know. I'm not going to lose. When David went at Goliath, he had five smooth stones, not just one, five of them. Why? Because Goliath had four brothers. He had four brothers. David went out there not only ready to hit that Goliath, but every other Goliath Jr. that came up after him because he knew the God we served. Brothers and sisters, I know it's a struggle. I know it's been long, and I know in many cases it's been hard. But that Goliath in your life, God already took his head off. You got to believe it. You got to receive it. You got to approach it with the truth. That is not true. This battle isn't true. He's just using us as instruments. you just instruments in that battle. God, that battle belongs to the Lord. That battle, that it seems too big for you. It's a Goliath battle. That's God's battle. And that gives you peace. It gives you surety. It gives you strength in the middle of a storm so crazy that sometimes you get multiple situations going on. First of all, that's a sign that you're doing something right because the enemy's coming at you hard. He's coming hard and he's throwing good lives at you. But you be at peace knowing this battle ain't true. It's the Lord. And you remember the end of the matter. Keep your eyes on the end of the matter. David went up to the life and blew his mind. 
one smooth stone called the truth. That stone had truth in it. It had the most high in it. That stone was a certain stone. It moved with such precision because God guided that stone that day. David knew to whom he was committed and to whom he belonged. And those of you who are battling the lives in your life, remember God is in the midst. You be at peace. You be encouraged. Remember the end of the matter. Shalom.